This is an updated video that shows the operation of the servo controller that we've talked about before, but in addition, there's an MP3 player uh, on the same circuit board that synchronizes sounds with the different operations of the servo. Let's take a look at the parts. There is an LED behind the uh, voltage regulator here that right now is off, but we'll show you what that does in a moment. When you're in setup mode, the two potentiometers here are adjusted to set the beginning and uh, second position of the servo. Over here are outputs for sound. The MP3 player sends audio to these two pins. If you're going to a, a standard 8 ohm speaker, these three pins would go to an amplified set of speakers like an old pair of computer speakers. In the MP3 player is a micro SD card. This is a one gig card, which is more than enough for the files we need to store. Uh, that has the six files that we'll be using. In the back of the board are two sets of pins. The close uh, set of pins closest to the edge of the board is connected to a push button switch, and I'll put that connection on. When you push that button, it starts the animation. I'll put the uh, speaker in here. And finally, there's a set of setup pins. These two pins are normally not joined together, but if you put a jumper over them, it goes into setup mode, and now if I turn the left-hand potentiometer, I set the start position of the servo. Let's put it pretty close to straight up. And if I press the button, you'll notice the LED lights brightly when I press the button. Now you set the second position of the servo. Let's make that a little bit less than horizontal. And I can press the button back and forth to switch between those two positions. There's the top. That button's a little bit dirty in the bottom. Okay, we'll take the jumper off, and if I press the button, it will start its animation, and it will give you six different audio files, and I'll count the numbers as they go. Okay, file number one, when the button is pressed. file two, water, 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 file three, water, 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 water. We are now done filling the file four, five, All done with the servo six, test. Ready for another. And that's it. Now I can take that card out and replace it with one that has audio files that make a little bit more sense. If I press the button now, you'll hear train sounds and things that are a little bit more realistic. There's a train coming up the track. This is file number one. File two. Okay, there's file number three, which is the water running. And that, I skipped four, that's five, and six is at the top. And that's the last file. The thing that's interesting about this is the timing of all of the uh, motions is based on the length of the MP3 files. So if you have a real long MP3 file at the beginning, the uh, servo will not move until that one is done. Uh, the exception to that is files number two and five, and I'm going to slow this down. You may have noticed that they were truncated a bit. If I press the button again, here comes the train, and again, it's fairly long. The little blue LED on the uh, MP3 player shows that, that file is playing. As soon as that's done, about now, you notice that that went more slowly. The right-hand potentiometer can be used to adjust the speed of the servo. And when the water's done, there it goes back up again, and the final MP3 file.